We're in the middle of NASCAR season, and if you're a racing fan, you may have noticed more targeted posts about NASCAR. One of those posts has gotten thousands of shares and comments, and we'd like to verify the claims for you now. This Facebook post made just a few days ago claims that Talladega Super Speedway held a Pride Day event. They also claim it was the lowest attended race day in Talladega history. So let's dive in and see what we can learn. The sources we use during our research are the image catalog search engine TinEye, a blog called the Dunning-Kruger Times, and Talladega's own website. Now we ran the photo from the Facebook post through a reverse image search. This is something you at home can do if you ever doubt something you see online. The results show the photo was originally taken in Indianapolis in 2017, and that pride flag didn't exist in the original picture. The link in the Facebook post takes you to an article crediting the Dunning-Kruger Times. We found the website and they call themselves part of a network of satire websites and they admit the photo they used, which the Facebook post copied, should be considered altered. So through those admissions, we can verify that no, Talladega did not recently hold a poorly attended Pride Day event. Further, we searched Talladega's website and found no announcements for any past or planned Pride Day events. If you have a claim you'd like us to verify, visit fox54.com to let us know. 1600. It's all because of this episode of The Simpsons. We've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. That led to the 35-year-old Fox comedy series being hailed as something of a predictor of social and news events over time. That's been the case this past week, after this image showed up on TikTok, Facebook, X, and YouTube, claiming it's from a recent episode of The Simpsons that aired before the Baltimore Bridge collapse. So did The Simpsons do it first? Let's verify. Our sources are the good people of X, Simpsons episode guides available on streamers Disney Plus and Hulu, and the show's executive producer, Matt Selman, who was quick to voice his displeasure with what he called obviously fake images. Social media users also quick to point out that yes, this is an artificial intelligence created depiction of Homer and company. One way to know this isn't a genuine Simpsons image? Lisa's hair points. Any hardcore Simpsons fan or show staffer can tell you that she always has eight. This one has ten. We also scoured all 700 plus episode descriptions. While there have been mishaps with ships and mishaps with bridges, none feature this particular depiction. So we can verify that no, the Simpsons did not predict the Baltimore Bridge collapse. With your verify, I'm Chase McPherson. The most recent solar eclipse to occur has had mixed responses as to if solar eclipses are a rare occurrence or not. Some say it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and while that may be true for some, solar eclipses occur more than we think. So let's verify. Our sources are NASA and NOAA. And here's what we found. Solar eclipses aren't a rare event that take place. In fact, solar eclipses occur about every 18 months. There are two types of eclipses, solar and lunar, and four different types of solar eclipses, total, annular, partial, and hybrid. Let's define just exactly what an eclipse is. An eclipse per NASA is an awe-inspiring celestial event that drastically changes the appearance of the two biggest objects we see in our sky, our sun and moon. On Earth, people can experience solar and lunar eclipses when Earth, the Moon, and the Sun line up. A solar eclipse occurs when the Moon passes in between the Earth and the Sun, therefore obscuring the Sun, whereas a lunar eclipse occurs when the Moon moves into Earth's shadow, causing the Moon to become darkened. While there may be some truth to the statement when it comes to a total solar eclipse, as only certain areas will be in the path of totality and the path changes each time of occurrence, solar eclipses as a whole are not a rare sight to see. The next total solar eclipse to happen will be on August the 12th, 2026 for the Arctic, Eastern Greenland, Iceland, and Northern Spain areas. Despite occurring approximately twice a year worldwide, the next total solar eclipse anticipated in the United States won't happen until March the 30th, 2033, which will be visible from northwestern Alaska. Subsequently, another is expected to traverse parts of Canada, Montana, and the Dakotas on August the 23rd, 2044. However, it won't be until August the 12th, 2045, when we see one span the United States from California to Florida. With your Verify, I'm meteorologist Emily Owen.